tragedy that all America is talking about, teenage football players playing in traffic, copying a scene from a Hollywood movie, a scene that apparently planted dangerous ideas in people's minds, a scene we show you with great caution. Tonight, the parents of one victim speak out. Diane Diamond reports. I pulled into town to a body lying in the middle of the road covered with a sheet, and they wouldn't tell me who was lying on the middle of the road. What did you know? I knew. I knew when I pulled around the bend in Salt Lane in the middle of the road. There are some things parents just know instinctively. In this case, Patty knew who was lying under that sheet. It was her teenage son, Michael. As far as I'm concerned, it was a senseless tragedy. And a totally uncalled for death. Her son, Michael, caught in a dangerous game. It was a copycat scene straight out of a Hollywood movie. Kids lying in the middle of the road to prove their manhood. Hey, bud, they're talking about how good I am under pressure. All I can say is that there has, you have to teach your children the difference in movies and reality because this is one hell of a wake-up call. Michael Shingledecker lived life on the edge. He once made the comment, if you can't get a rush, it's not worth doing. But it was always demolition cars and sports that gave him a thrill. He planned to begin college in January. He even dreamed of joining the FBI. That was Michael. You go for the top or you don't bother. But his dream was cut short. It was a typical Friday night in Polk, Pennsylvania. Michael and his buddies had just come from a high school football game. They were hanging out near Dave's Market, an abandoned store on State Route 62. My daughters here both saw it from the windows here of our home. We had been awakened earlier by the, uh, the first escapade where they had done this once, well, probably three or four minutes before. On a dare, Michael and his friend, Dean Bartlett, decided to lie down in the middle of a highway. I heard the thud of the vehicle hitting the two youngsters on the street. What no one realized then is that Michael and his friend were imitating this scene from the movie, The Program. A scene where football players prove their toughness by lying end to end on a highway as cars whiz by. But Route 62 is no movie set. Michael was killed instantly. His friend rushed to the hospital with major injuries. They was laying on the road, I can understand why. What would they land on the road for? I mean, I see if they're crossing the road, but she's laying on the road. I'd <clears throat> and Michael's death wasn't just local news. It became a tragedy of national proportions when a teenager in Long Island was critically injured as he, too, mimicked that same movie scene. I don't even think the people knew the car was coming. But someone can say, get out of the road. And it, I mean, it wasn't even half a minute after he had to lay down that the car came. Michael Macias, a senior and star football player, was paralyzed. Now parents and kids all across America are asking why, trying to understand why seemingly smart and normal teenagers would do something so dangerous. A lot of people said it was a stupid thing to do, it was dumb, you know, it was really dumb, but, um, you know, everyone does something stupid. They may have never ever dreamed of, or come up with the idea on their own. But if they see something that looks like fun, they're going to try it. The producers of the movie have now pulled that fateful scene, but it's too late for Michael Shingledecker. His family hopes it's not too late for others who might be tempted to imitate art. If these guys know there are movies that they're releasing that they won't allow their own children, why are they putting them out there for ours? I don't understand. A buck isn't worth a life. It is one of the tragedies of youth that they can't always recognize the difference between courage and foolishness. It is one of the tragedies of adulthood that we sometimes forget that's the case.